In this video we're going to look at how to jump start a machine with a 24 volt system using only one 12 volt battery. This is a 500 kVA generator with a starting issue. It has 22 volts reading at the starter motor and that clicking sound you can hear is the starter solenoid dropping in and out. It doesn't have enough power to start. So looking at our two 12 volt batteries in series, our first battery reads 9 volts. That's way too low. It should be about 12 and a half. And our second battery in series reads 22. So the second battery's probably got about 12.8 volts and our first battery is way too low. So we know we've got one battery that's no good. We don't have a spare to put in there but we do have a single 12 volt battery that we can use to jump it. Now this won't always work for you um, but if you've got a 24 volt system and it's using two 12 volt batteries and you've got one 12 volt battery spare to use whether it's on a car or whatever this one's just sitting there like this you just go positive to positive negative to negative on one battery and back to your jumping battery whether it's in your car or just on the ground like this and this sometimes works not all the time if your batteries are too flat like i said you won't have enough power but this certainly boosts up a, a low or a dead battery and it can allow you to start the machine and get it working until you can get a replacement set of batteries. So we're reading 12.5 volts straight away, so that's a good sign. It means the battery's not completely cactus. And at the starter we got 25 volts. So in theory, as long as we can get the amps through, this is going to start. And that started really well. The few sparks got thrown around. I mustn't have had the clamp on the terminal real well. And the camera was right beside that terminal, so it made those sparks look real bad. You can get sparks every now and then when you're jump starting, just because you don't get the best connection onto your terminals with jumper clamps, but um, it's not too much to worry about, as long as you don't fry your, your pole off your battery, which you shouldn't if you've got it on the, um, the terminal bracket. So this is how I would do it if that didn't work, if that one battery wasn't enough to get it going. I've got two 12 volt batteries here. As you can see I've put a terminal on each pole and I've got this jumper cable that you can buy. I just bought it from an automotive shop and it allows us to jump the batteries in series to create 24 volts. Having two batteries to jump start machines like this is really handy, especially for machines stuck in a spot that you can't get a car or another. Uh, machine to to jump off. So our first battery reads 12.6 volts at the positive terminal, that's pretty normal. And then we jump to our second battery negative terminal. We've still got 12.6 volts if you put your meter there. That's the negative side. And then through the positive side of the second battery you create 24 volts. And there we go. And make sure you put a terminal clamp on each pole because you can fry the pole off if you just put the clamp straight on the lead pole. Now when you jump start machines there is a way they tell you to do it and when I say them I mean the OEMs of the machines, the people that build them. They will always tell you to put the positive on first on your machine battery and then you go positive onto your jumping battery or machine if you were jumping it off another starter motor. So we put that on like so. So positive to the positive side, that makes sense, where we had our 24 volts. And then you go negative to your jumping system and then last negative to the machine. Crank it over and away it goes. Now if you couldn't get to the batteries because they are in a bad spot for you, you could just go straight to the starter motor. And that's achieved by clamping the negative pole of the starter motor and clamping the positive pole of the starter motor. And then you would put them on the batteries the way we had them or you could go to another starter motor if you backed a machine up beside the one that was flat and you can just start them like that. 
If you enjoyed this video, like and subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be making more jump starting videos in the future.